Welcome, my name is Bert. My name is Greg. And we are historical interpreters here at the American Revolution Museum in Yorktown. We're going to talk to you today about some of the outside games. First game will be nine pin. We will talk about nine pin pin. I have the hoop and the stick. We'll talk about that as a game. And then we'll finish up with the game of trap ball. We'll explain about that. Good morning, my name is Greg Schneck, a historical interpreter here at the American Revolution Museum at Yorktown. We're going to be talking about a very fun game, nine pin. Like its name says, there are nine pins. So when you set up nine pin, you set it up in a diamond pattern with the elongated point pointed to where you're going to roll the ball. So you can see there are nine pins here and the, di the diamond and the longer points are pointing to the bowler. Now usually when you roll this, you're going to get two tries and you add the number together, your total, and you, you would keep count of that. And usually they run in increments of three sets, five sets, nine sets, thirteen sets. You want an odd number. And you add that up to get your score. You would agree before on how many sets you're going to do. And this game fun in the way that it's going to teach children also the math to do. So it's an easy way to keep having fun and learning at the same time. So I get two rolls with these balls against those nine pins. And I count the pins I knock down at the end. And usually you take five steps away. So I'm five steps away and I'm going to roll the ball. Ooh, not so good. Oh, I did horrible. I got a big zero on that one. I hope we get the next guy going to come up and he would do it. So a three. So now we're going to set it up for the next bowler. Going back to the five bases away, and we're bowling. I got down by three. I need to do better here. Yeah, that's better. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a good sight. And again, my spot, don't step over the line. First ball, gutter. That's not good. He get two. So this time we're only going to do two sets. So my total would be a six, and his would be a five, and I would have won. 
come and visit us and we'll show you how to play. Good morning, my name is Bert. I'm a historical interpreter here at American Revolution Museum at Yorktown. The hoop and the stick are a very simple game. It is actually one continuous piece of wood. You may not be able to see it on the camera, but there's an overlap. So they're having to bevel it and make one round piece. It is something, as you saw, you can play by yourself and run a course. You might challenge a friend. So set a course, see who could finish first, see who could go faster. Uh, so there are many possibilities of being able to play the hoop and stick game. Compared to many of the modern games, you can see that the games of the 1700s are very active games. It's something that you are doing outside. You are expending energy, unlike many of our games today, where you might sit and run a remote control. This gives you a lot of exercise. Well, you know, we really should make this more interesting. How about a wager? Who buys who won? That would be fine. We will have a contest using some of these games to see who will be the one that buys lunch. You win, babe. I'll buy you lunch. <laughs> We're gonna introduce this game called trap. Trap ball. You got a very soft ball and you have a paddle. And the trap is just a little lever that's gonna launch the ball and then you're gonna hit it when it's in the air. When the ball goes out, if the person catches it, he takes over the batter. If he catches it on a bounce or a roll, then he has to roll it. And if he rolls it to the trap and hits it, then he can take over the batter. So it's a kind of a fun game. It's a little interesting to play, and I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to set the trap down. I'm going to put the ball on. I get my, you want to swing kind of like a tennis ball. So you're going to hit it, ah, takes over now, and he's going to try it, and I'm going to wear it. I know Bert wants to hit it hard, so I'm going to back up a little. Come on. I get harder now. you play trap ball. You're playing the different things on it. You can add points if you want on how many bounces there were. Kind of like a 500 game if you want. But really you're just hitting the ball, catching it, and trying to hit the trap. Well this ends our program for the day. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed what you uh, saw, please uh, subscribe. Okay. We hope that you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. and Make sure you put some likes in there if you liked us. We really enjoyed being with you there, and we hope to see you again. Yes, again. Uh, Bert and Greg from the American Revolution Museum at York.